What you, I feel God right here now. What you don't prepare for, you will not receive. I woke up this morning with my mind stayed on Jesus. I woke up feeling God. I woke up feeling like the Lord was going to move. Woke up a little tired, but woke up happy. Woke up singing, came here, singing, came here, praying, got out my car, greeting the saints, went to the back of the church, hugging God's people because I have been filled with joy and I'm anticipating a joy move in your life, in your family, on your job, in your checkbook, among your children. I'm expecting joy. Tweet somebody right now and tell somebody, expect joy. Because what you don't expect, you won't receive. And one of the reasons we don't receive anything from church is because we're not expecting anything. We come mad and leave mad. We come mean and leave mean. But we're going to change the atmosphere today. We're going back to ushering with joy. We're going back to bringing people down the aisle like we used to, escorting them, holding their elbow, smiling, so glad to see, so glad you came. You could have gone somewhere else. But I'm so glad you came to my church today when people sit on our row and sit in the seat that we think is ours we're not going to look at them like that's my seat because you ain't got no seat thank God we're able to sit anywhere we want to but this is the Lord's house and there's going to be a release of the spirit of joy from the bishop to the presbytery to the deacons to the choir to the ushers to security to the media all of us are going to change our attitude and we're going to have It is the opposite of being mean. I'm not talking about you. But I'm just saying, sometimes the church, in this book I'm reading now, uh, do you have it and how to keep it and how to make sure that you have it in your church. The book talks about the, the, there's some churches that have everything. They got the flowers and they got the banners and they got the altar, they got the candles, they got the stained glass windows, they got the preachers properly adorned in their liturgical garments, but the spirit of the people is off. The spirit of the ushers are off. The spirit of the preacher and the leaders are off. The people, the spirit of those sitting in the pulpit is giving off a bad vibe. Right now, look at the pulpit and if everybody's not smiling, point to them right now. I told the leaders a couple of weeks ago, Rhonda, I said, it ain't the time for y'all to be sitting up here looking like, ah, Shondo. You take that mess and take it somewhere else. Take it to the back. Take it to the prayer room. So don't take it in front of the people because you've been through that all week long. You've been through that on your job. You've been through that with the police. You've been through that all week long. You don't come to church. I don't care what I'm personally going through. When I stand here before you, that's not your problem. I can't come with my own personal issues and be mean and angry because I'm tired and upset. I can't put that on you. I've got to emote a spirit of expectation. I've got to emote the joy that I preach about. Somebody's 